Air astronomical event will be visible in the skies over Southern California this morning. Yeah, this is cool. We're about two hours away from a solar eclipse. KCAL News reporter Tina Patel is live at the observatory at Griffith Park with a preview of what we're going to see this morning. Hey, Tina. Good morning. You know, normally when you work an early morning shift like we do, you're just waiting for the sun to come up so you can feel like a normal person. Well, today we are waiting for the sun to come up and then immediately go away because that doesn't happen very often. I am here with Dr. David Reitzel from the observatory. Thank you for joining us this morning. How special is this? I mean, like I was saying, it, it doesn't happen that often. No, it doesn't. The last one we had was in 2017. So this is this is an event people want to make sure to take a look at. And we have some video from that last time in 2017. There were so many people that come here. What do you think is the fascination with events like this? Well, first of all, not something you see every day, of course, and you need to have the right protection. You don't want to look at it with just your naked eye. So want to get that out there so people don't hurt themselves. But to see the moon pass in front of the sun and you see a bite taken out of that sun that's there day after day reliably, it rises every day, sets every day to see something like a dark patch a dark arc move across the sun is incredible here in los angeles it'll only be partial but it's still an amazing sight to see well and i was gonna say it's only partial but it's like 70 some percent right like it's yeah. still a very noticeable thing you will see oh yeah yeah exactly 70 percent or so and you'll notice it things will get dimmer if you pay attention to shadows they'll be sharper one direction than the other um so we'll get some neat effects it might get cooler as well if you notice it instead of just getting warmer today it'll start out and then maybe get a little cooler and then a little warmer again we'll, we'll have to see if that's the fun of these eclipses well and you and i were just saying what also is sort of fun and awe-inspiring is the fact that it really does make us realize we're all connected we're all on this one planet we are actually very small when you think of the solar system like it kind of makes you think those big thoughts doesn't it, it it really does. And this is a great reason to get together with your friends, your family, your loved ones. Experience the eclipse together. It brings people together. Griffith Observatory, we're a public observatory. We're here for all of you. So we love these sorts of events that get everybody together to celebrate the skies. Well, I want to just let everybody know, if you want to come to Griffith Observatory, it is free to come out here. The eclipse starts around 8 a.m. and it will go around till 11, around 9.20-ish is around the best time to see it. They are going to have glasses like this that you can purchase. They're also going to have special uh, telescopes. Well, They're safe. Telescopes and solar <laughs> but if you can't come here and join them, you can watch it at home, but make sure you look about proper eye. This is very important, right? Yeah, very important. And also we're expecting the park and our parking to fill up. So if you can't get in here, don't be too sad. You can watch it from home. Just do it safely. Make a pinhole camera. There's instructions online. There's lots of ways to do it. And we are going to be here all morning. So we will also bring you all the excitement and talk to the experts because ladies, I'm not the expert. I'm just kind of geeking out here being able to be around <laughs> these smart people and be part of this. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, I love his energy, though. Yeah. yeah. You guys are both excited, and I can feel that right. you, you're not a geek, Tina, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just know you're excited. But it's a good, it's a good kind of thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And she has a front row seat. So lucky. There you go. All right, Tina, we'll see you in a little bit.